First, the race for the Senate seat in New Jersey between incumbent Robert Menendez and his challenger, State Senator Joseph Carrillos. I got the chance to sit down with both candidates and talk to them about New Jersey's legislation, the economy, and the upcoming election. The Senate race in New Jersey features two prominent figures in New Jersey politics, incumbent U.S. Senator Robert Menendez and challenger Joseph Carrillos, the state representative for the 13th District. Robert Menendez was sworn into the Senate in 2006 after being appointed by New Jersey Governor John Corzine to fill the remainder of his term. Later that year, Senator Menendez was elected to serve a full six-year term. He claims that he is fighting for the rights of the middle class in New Jersey. The middle class is under attack, but I'm fighting back. That's why I led the charge to crack down on credit card companies' abusive practices. To make this sure year, his approach is no different. Now, you currently hold a, an average of a 12-point lead over your opponent, Senator Carrillos. Why do you think you've been able to keep such a gap from your opponent? Well, I think that my message and my accomplishments and also what I uh, want to do for the people of New Jersey has struck a responsive chord with the electorate. Uh, I understand the struggles of middle class families uh, every day. So when I fight for tax cuts, but not for the wealthiest people in our country, there's nothing against, I have nothing against wealth, but if you already have it, the last thing we need to do is give you our collective tax money and give you more of it. The message of opponent State Senator Joseph Carrillos mirrors that of the top of the ticket, Governor Romney, and that the U.S. economy is in trouble and we need change. What is the solution to jobs, uh, job creation in New Jersey? Well, we've got to get our national economy going. We're doing a lot at the state level. Governor Christie, myself, and other reformers from both sides of the aisle trying to do what we can in Trenton to make the state more competitive, dealing with our taxes, our budgets, and regulations here at home. But the American economy is failing us. So many millions of Americans uh, out of work. And we've got a bunch of tax increases scheduled to happen in January. If they happen, that'll be 20,000 jobs for New Jersey alone. So. There's nothing that a strong American economy wouldn't cure here in New Jersey. I'm Susan Carrillos. The My focus of Joe Senator Carrillos' campaign is one of moderation. Joe is a different kind of Republican. What do you think of Senator Carrillos' approach and his campaign's approach to packaging him as a different kind of Republican? Well, I think that um, running as a Republican in the state of New Jersey is really a tricky proposition. And I think that the, the master at that was Chris Christie. He was able to run as a reformer um, and actually managed to get really significant Democratic support. I think that Senator Krillos recognizes that, particularly in the, the wake of those Republican primaries where we saw the, the Republican candidates, Michelle Bachman and Herman Cain and Rick Santorum, battling to get to the right, and that negative drag that it would have on the Republican Party in the state of New Jersey, which tends to have a bit more of a liberal political culture than the rest of the country, um, I think that he recognized that he needed to repackage himself as something different. And the reality is, is that New Jersey Republicans do overall tend to be different than the GOP nominees or the GOP nationally. And I think that he's trying to articulate that and make sure voters know about those differences. The polls currently have you in about an average of a 12-point deficit to Senator Menendez. Um, what's the key to you know, closing that gap? Well, we're going to campaign really hard, and we're going to tell people that they have an important decision to make. If they like the way things are going, they'll vote for him. But if they think that America can be a better place and that we really, really have to, to change things, improve things, then they're going to choose my way and they're going to choose me. Well, we're going to continue to build uh, upon what I have been doing for some time now. Uh, we're going to communicate with the voters our vision, our, our first three ads, all positive at a time of such a negativism uh, in politics. So we're going to continue our messaging in a positive way uh, about what I stand for, the fights I've led for New Jerseyans, the fights I will continue to lead for New Jerseyans, uh, and we will do that all the way until November the 6th. The early polls have Menendez with a larger gap, just as President Obama held, heading into the first presidential debate. Despite the close race now being run on the national level, Senator Menendez's lead has remained unchanged. For Inside MSU, I'm Corey Boudreau.